Hi everyone, I'm Brian, uh, just here to share with you my latest 3D printed project. Um, and so what it is, is a speed loader. Um, this is basically a device that allows you to load a revolver faster than just placing in each bullet one at a time. You basically load this thing, stick it into the chamber, um, rotate to drop the bullets out, and then you're ready to go. So um, these have existed for a long time. I bought one on Amazon before I made this. Um, for my new gun, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but basically the way it works, these are dummy rounds, um, so don't be scared. <laughs> these are, uh, essentially, it has a little, you can't really see it, but there's a little notch that when you rotate the knob on the back, um, these little notches come into place to hold the rounds in, so you drop them in, rotate the notch, and then you, you can't uh, shake them out. So this one look works with a little ball spring that you can barely see at the, at the front there, but I modified the design a little bit so that every part in this thing would be printable. Um, so as you can see, the red part is kind of what the gray part was in the, in the device I just showed you. Um, and when you rotate it, little notches, little red notches, let's see if you can see them there. Yeah, they kind of come out there to hold the rounds in place. And instead of the ball spring mechanism, I used a little, basically a little bumpy rod with eight bumps. Um, and eight kind of bumps on the hole that the rod is in, if you will, um, to make the kind of, to make them stop at each, you know, basically locked and then unlocked and then locked and then unlocked. Um, so essentially you just drop these in, um, lock it up here, and then they don't drop out. So let me just show you how to load this and I'll tell you how to print it. Um, and then after this, I will I will have a video of me using it at the range, so you know it actually works with real ammunition. Um, so there you go. It is locked. I barely had to rotate this one. This this one that I made for the demo is a little bit loose, um, <laughs> uh, but I'll show you a, a tighter one in the video. Uh, so that's it. It's it's ready to go now. It's all loaded. You can see that the rounds are in there um, in the chamber. Um, so just a little bit of, uh, background on how it is designed. So this part right here, um, is kind of the knob piece. You'll see that it has, it has a little notch in there. So this has another, um, this basically connects to the little cauliflower looking rod on this side. It has a similar looking notch and you put them together so it can't rotate. And then I glued them with an ABS glue. You can use PVC glue or even other glue, anything, any glue that works well with plastic. Um, but you actually have to glue it once it's um, in the flat bottom of the cylinder piece. Um, so first you get like a this red piece with the cylinder there, and then you glue the the top part of the chamber piece on, or you know, cylinder piece onto this flat piece um, as your second gluing step, and then you have a complete product. Um, so the red red part, the inner part, should move independently of the blue part is the goal. Um, so it, it, it prints in four pieces, uh, no, no support required, um, and uh, the tolerances on Thingiverse should be set for if you have your wall height calibration um, working. So definitely make sure you calibrate your walls before attempting this. Um, it is a pretty tight fit and you want it pretty exact so that the rounds fit exactly. So um, without further ado, I will warp to the video of me shooting it. Um, just also wanted to mention, because I forgot at the beginning of the video, um, this is designed to work with my gun, which is a GP100 series Ruger. I have this, the Match Champion edition of that gun. Um, but it should also work with a Smith & Wesson 586 or any of the similarly sized Smith & Wesson or Ruger six shooters. Um, and maybe some of the other brands like Taurus or what have you. I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't tried it. But they're all pretty similarly sized. So um, go ahead and try to print this if you have one of these guns. Um, and it should also be modifiable into like a five round version if you're if you have one of those. Um, so let me know if you have any questions or comments in the in the YouTube or Thingiverse posts, and I will try to answer them. All right. Thank you. Bye.